Hi guys, thank you for joining me. On this video I'm going to show you how I prep my pampas grass using till method. And if you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Alice, I post interior, lifestyle, fashion and DIY videos. Near the end of this video there's going to be a bonus clip where I'm going to show you the tools you need to be able to cut your pampas grass. Stay tuned. So this is one of the method that I normally use to dry my pampas grass and I call it the dry method where I don't do much to the pampas grass apart from shaking them to get rid of any dirt or insects. As you can see mine had a few insects in them. You may have to do this a couple of times depending on how dirty your pampas grass is. Once you're happy with how clean your pampas grass look, you can go ahead and tie the stem of the pampas grass with a rubber band or a rope ready to hang them upside down for two weeks or more. This is how the pampas grass uh, look like after I tied them with a rubber band and then I went ahead and hung them upside down for two weeks. Try and hang them where there's sunshine or direct sunshine depending on where you live but this is how I could manage to hang mine and I had to wait for two weeks and after two weeks this is how the pampas grass look like ready for styling. Once you're happy with how your pampas grass have turned out, you can go ahead and use a hairspray to spray them just to give them a long life and also to prevent them from shredding. You may have to hairspray your pampas grass from time to time just to freshen them up and fluff them up. And if you have a hair dryer, you can use it to make it fuller. I did not have a hair dryer so I just shook them as I was hair spraying them so and they turn out okay. And another thing to note is if you have long pampas grass it's best to use a long vase just like the next method I'm gonna show you but if you have like short pampas grass like this ones it's best to use a small or shorter vase which I think works well for them. So this is the second method that I normally use to prep my pampas grass and I would like to apologize beforehand because I shot the video in vertical. I don't know how that happened and later on I realized I made a mistake and then I had to switch back to horizontal so, so sorry about that. I hope you understand what I'm doing. So this is a long pampas grass that I'm using for the second method and I call this the wet method because I wash them in water a couple of times just to get rid of any dirt or insects that are in them. You may have to wash them until you're happy with how they look. Once you're happy on how clean they are, you go ahead and tie them just like the way we did on the first method. Tie them using a rope or a rubber band or anything just to hold them together and hang them upside down until they're dry before you can go ahead and style them. But before styling, these ones were a little bit shredding like the amount of shredding they were doing it was unreal so I had to shake them as much as I could but you can also hang them outside if there's wind and just let the wind do the job but there was no wind on that day so I had to shake them as much as I can while spraying them with a the hairspray I sprayed them a number of times and shaking them while doing that just to make sure the shredding stops before I went ahead and styled them. 
as I said earlier on, if you have um, hairspray, you can use that too. Since this pampas grass were a little bit longer than the other ones, I used a longer verse to style them and this is how they turned out. So you will need this to cut your pampas grass and it's called Bypass Secateurs and I bought this one from B&Q for less than five pound. It comes with a safety clip here so you flip it and it opens up like this so you will definitely need this. This is going to be your best friend when you're cutting out those pampas grass because they tend to be really tough. Do let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer, the which method you prefer, either the wet one or the dry one. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below and I will get back to you guys. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.